Hello Internet, and welcome to this video. I know you're thinking, hey Matt, why do you have a, why do you have a GoPro on your head? Um, it's obviously because, as you would have seen by the title and the thumbnail, because I'm going in a heli, baby, and it's going to be fun. And this video will consist of a few parts. It'll consist of partially being a vlog, because I'm taking my friend Sam Yeldum in the heli, and he's afraid of flying, so that's going to be fun. Partially a cinematic cut of all the stuff that we'll be seeing, <coughs> excuse me, while we're flying. Also, we'll talk about the gear that I'm bringing and how to prep for a heli flight with camera gear and then how to shoot from a heli. So maybe it's like four-ish things. Um, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a fun day. Grab a drink or not. Do whatever you want. I hope you keep watching and smash that subscribe button and the like and whatever. All right, everyone. Look who is here. Come here. Oh, sorry. I thought you were going to go on me. <laughs> Hi. He's back I'm from back. New York. When did you move? Uh, six months ago. Six months ago. Yeah. Crazy how time flies. It does. Haven't missed him a bit. Jokes. Uh, Sam's birthday is when? Uh, <laughs> Monday. Monday. So I'm taking him in a heli uh, as a birthday present. And um, I didn't know this, but you are... Deadly afraid of flying. How good. Anyways, let's load up the car, go to the thing, do the thing, and then do more things. Made it back to Blue Sky Helicopters, where I haven't been since... What was it? When did we shoot? May. May. In May we shot the world's best heli ad. Right here. And uh, Sam, how are you feeling? How are you? Fabulous. Slightly nervous? No. <laughs> All right, we're outside. This is the heli. Sam's losing his mind. He's so nervous. It's going to be fun. He's like, where are the doors? They're not there, obviously. How else are you going to shoot great stills? And, where are the doors? Videos? Where are the doors? Where are the doors? <laughs> I'm going to cut now to the cinematic uh, cut uh, because there's no point in vlogging because it's very loud. So one, two, three, here we go. on the ground. How was it, Sam? It was amazing. I only cried twice. Oh, no, you. I didn't cry at all. <laughs> you had a good time? I had a great time. Uh, as you know, I have a fear of flying and I think I'm over it a bit. <laughs> You're over the fear of flying? 
Sort of. That's great. <laughs> because, of, because of the, the Blue Sky helicopter experience? That's right. Yeah, I felt very safe. <laughs> Alrighty, here we are a few weeks after everything you saw before this bit. Uh, I finally got around to shooting this video. I want to talk to you guys a little bit about gear. Uh, the specific gear that I use or that I prefer to shoot from a heli and also how to use that gear to shoot from said heli. So initially, uh, first up, you need a camera, right? Camera's pretty crucial. A fast camera, ideally, because you'll be shooting so many photos, you don't want your camera to lock up and spend time writing to your memory card, which should also be fast while you're flying past a great composition or a great subject. Lens-wise, I prefer an image-stabilized zoom lens for two reasons. Uh, reasons. Two reasons, obviously. A zoom lens allows you to frame up shots differently. You can isolate a subject while zooming in um, or go from wide. It gives you versatility. It's like two, having two cameras, pretty much, or two lenses in one. And the image stabilization, you will need it. Halleys are incredibly shaky. There's so many vibrations going on from the big, the big Thing on the top and the thing at the back and you know all that stuff so image stabilized zoom lens is in my opinion an absolute must get yourself a nice lens strap because if you don't have one you probably won't be able to bring the camera on the heli uh, when i got on board with this one they double check all the straps to be sure they were um, attached to the cameras properly you do not want to kill one or more people uh, because you can camera what is going on camera fell out of the heli. One of the more crucial things that I think you should bring is a circular polarizer. This allows you to cut through the haze that you will often encounter uh, when shooting from the sky and it makes all the difference when it comes to reflections and shooting water and even reflections of buildings and stuff. If you don't want a circ... Honestly, I know what's going on. If you don't know what a circular pol... <sighs> Jesus. Circular polarizer is, I'll be making a video about that very soon. If you have it and you can bring it, I suggest a extra camera. This can be a little action cam that you mount on your head or on top of your camera. I've done both and they both have really fun results. Uh, or an actual extra camera to shoot um, wide versus more tight shots, for example. That's what I did on this one. I had a 60 with the 2470 zoom lens and then I had my 1DX with the 16-35 f4, both lenses, as I mentioned before, zoom lenses and image stabilized, real nice. Bring a jacket because it gets pretty cold and windy up in a heli. And also, obviously, don't forget to bring actual full uh, batteries and a empty memory card. Now that we've gone over the gear that you need to shoot from a heli, let's talk about how to actually shoot from the heli. The number one tip is, yeah, uh, take the doors off before you, <laughs> before you go up. If possible, obviously. I was on a, a custom photo flight where they always take the doors off, but try and ask your, your local heli operator if that is an option, um, because it's really not that complicated. They will probably charge more, but trust me, doors off or doors on, massive difference. You don't want to be shooting through a little gap in the window or through a window, because that's, you know, it brings reflections and it makes the images blurry and it's just not, it's just not worth it. So try and always get your doors off. Ask your pilot before you're off which seat is the best one to shoot from and which route they'll be following or route. I don't really know how you say it. Um, and talk about your, your shots that you want to take. Um, they will know that route so, so well. They would have probably flown it hundreds, if not thousands of times. And if you tell them that you're looking after image X, Y, Z, they'll be able to put you in the exact best position and help you out massively. Talking about photos that you're after, the best thing you can do before you start flying is to get a shot list, an actual either written down or a mental list of the photos or videos that you really want to take, the you know, handful of, of pics or videos that you want to walk away with. It's really easy to lose your focus and to get um, overwhelmed and you just want to shoot everything and you walk away with a bunch of half-assed photos but you're better off walking away with five really great photos or videos. So again, uh, set up a shot list and try not to lose your focus while you're up in the air. A great tip if you're gonna shoot video to get more steady shots is um, shorten the length of your neck strap so that you can um, put tension on it and have it as a sort of a, sort of a third anchor point. So one, two, and then three on your neck. And that'll allow you to kind of move the camera if you wanna move past, for example, the, uh, the cabin, cabin, whatever, the cabin edge, and do like reveal shots and stuff, having that third access point really makes it uh, quite a bit smoother. Uh, also, obviously, the image stabilized lens will help with that, but the heli is quite susceptible, if it's a light one like the R44 that we were in, quite susceptible to wind and stuff, and you're gonna need all the help you can get to get your video as steady as possible. Another tip for photos, use a faster shutter speed than you think. You don't wanna waste uh, money and time on getting in a heli and then coming back down and realizing that 
your photos are all blurry because you weren't shooting at a fast enough shutter speed. The heli's moving at probably about minimum 200 k's an hour, which is, I don't know how many miles an hour, I'm sorry, America, um, which is really fast. And before you know it, you're shooting at a shutter speed that you think is fine. For example, on the ground, handheld, 1 2 50th of a second should be fine, but in a heli, I recommend at least one one thousandth of a second. As soon as you're up in the air, angle your polarizer properly. Um, it will cut through the haze enormously and improve uh, contrast and saturation and clarity in your images. But it um, it might move around from depending on how you use your camera or the vibrations of the heli. So re-angle it every now and then, also depending on the orientation, obviously. Cannot stress uh, how important the polarizer is for this type of shoot. Make sure that your images are in focus by refocusing often. Now, I use back button focus, which is where you, instead of focusing with your index finger, you focus with your thumb on the back of the camera. So usually I lock the focus once, release that, and then I, I fire away and it's not refocusing. But because you're in a moving vehicle and you're working with zoom lenses, it's probably you're probably better off to refocus quite often just to make sure that it's not um, out of focus from, as I mentioned, moving the zoom lens or the vibrations, shifting the internal mechanics of your lens. Don't forget to communicate with your pilot. He's there, you've got the headset on, you can actually talk while flying. Yes, he's listening to uh, the, whatever you call it, the towers of the airports nearby, but you can actually ask him if he can maybe do a little loop around back to a photo that you missed or something like that. Um, yeah, just, just talk to the pilot. I'm sure he or she really won't mind when you ask a question. And then my final tip is just enjoy. Try and be in the moment. Maybe drop your camera down and have a look at where you are and what's happening and, and what's around you. I remember one of my first heli flights when I was shooting. I was so overwhelmed and I was so stressed about capturing everything. I was just shooting and shooting and overshooting. I walked away like two or three full memory cards. It was, it was quite silly. And as soon as I got out of the heli, I was like, huh, is that it? I don't even remember what it was like to actually be in it because I was too focused on the imagery. So if you're going to take the time and money to go in a heli, might as well enjoy it for a few seconds. So yeah, drop the camera down and just try and take it all in. And just like that, we have come to the end of this video. Um, leave a comment or a question if you have any, and I'll try and get back to you or other people can reply to you. If you have any tips on how to shoot from a heli, I can't imagine many people having extra tips for how to shoot from a heli, but if you do, please comment them. That also really helps the channel. Any, you know, thumbs up, comment, subscribe, blah, 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 that all helps. Um, the channel's been going really well. I've been slowing it down a bit recently because I feel like I need a mental break and I don't wanna have a burnout. So yeah, I think we're gonna go back down to one video per week for now. And then I might ramp it back up. Many more tutorials coming in 2018. They do really well for the channel and you guys seem to really enjoy them and I love making them. So it'll be a nice balance between vlogs, cinematics and tutorials this year. Um, that's it. Before I go on a massive ramble, thank you so much for watching. Appreciate you all so much. I will see you on the next video.